we have uh, learned about what is an ellipsis okay and uh, before i go to the next uh, i mean you know, topic that is uh, called parabola okay i like to say a few points ellipse means it is a closed curve fine so i no again revise just for uh, making you confirm that ellipse means a closed point one point first thing and you have directrix in the both sides okay that is is compulsory that this line has to be in the left hand side and other line in the right hand side two directrix and ellipse is a closed point and even the focus point is also if you start here it will finish it will have two focus points so for the ellipse you should have a closed curve two directrix and two focus points or 4c it's called 4c in short form it's called foci okay now in parabola the construction is almost same as ellipse the only thing is the final curve will not have a closed section it's just a half it, it's kind of an arc the number of points what we take is it depends on our convenience to make it a smooth curve but it's only an arc so for example the final sketch would be just like this this is making parabola okay it's, a, it's a just an half uh, it's not a circle half circle also it is just an arc only we'll see how to do that with a question now the question is framed like this i draw a parabola with an uh, focus um, a value of i mean distance from the uh, your directrix to focus is 60 mm that would be your question very simple i should say how draw and parabola okay say with the distance of your focus uh, from directrix directrix is equal to 60 mm the number may be anything i'm just taking 60 you give me 40 or 50 whatever it is okay so this question is like that maybe it has put that the distance from directrix to focus is like this because that is the one we are drawing in the first okay so this is just an i'm writing an example a uh, question because uh, to draw a parabola you need only the meaning of writing this is to draw a parabola you just need only the distance between you are focused to I mean direct distance to focus what about the mid distance now how to go about it now starting point you draw a directrix okay this is your directrix so i'll take uh, ab you will not go for another directrix which is not required for a i'm sorry the parabola then you choose any point from anywhere i'll take ab you go for c okay then you make it a point just draw a line this is called an axis line just make a line and then you fix this the starting thing is right directrix value from directrix to I'm sorry directrix to focus the distance is this new 60 mm i say this i fix it at. and that point always you keep it as f because we call it as focus point symbol would be f is easy to understand f okay and here also we have something called you remember what is the next point you given in uh, ellipse It's called eccentricity eccentricity okay this would be previously in ellipse it was 3 by 4 that means out of total 4 your length you choose 3 as first and remaining 1 cm left as it is that's how that is for a ellipse but it's for a parabola the eccentricity is equal to 1 that means in the focus the center point which you choose is just that that point would be your eccentricity so i need not write a value of eccentricity and in the question paper also it will not be specified the eccentricity value for parabola will not be specified will not be indicated or given in the question paper you will have to make it understand you should this is a standard value it is one for a parabola so what i say it is just the center point of this 60 mm 
a distance between your any chosen point and the focus would be given this is a 60 millimeter the 30th millimeter that is the center point of the 60 millimeter will be your eccentricity so eccentricity i already told you we indicate by uh, symbol v it's called vertex i write it's vertex okay it's called a v so, now the procedure again same what we did in the previous ellipse all the same so, very simple what you do from this vertex you just divide the remaining curve into equal divisions okay like this 2 3 4 5 6 whatever it is you can divide it then now what you do the first point here after the first aggregate of first 1.2 point 2 point 3 point 4 point number of points first division you just make it a line which is up just extend the line and now what you do you measure the distance of this first point to your focus f and mark it here just take a cut and in bottom also like that every point you make it it's called parallel lines you are drawing a parallel line to this uh, basic line it is like this you cut it like this but it is, you are not making a full curve ok 3 or 4 points whatever it is and just make a with the vertex you just join it will come like this so for example actually it is not even going to this it will come out like this the distance will be different so from every point that means from point number 1 to f you measured and cut this point number 1 uh, this 2 to f then 3 all this every points you should just cut it that is i should say taking this 2 as uh, f as center and f1 as the distance you cutting one again f as center f2 as a distance cutting the second line f s center f3 it goes like this ok when you make it an equal division in a drawing sheet it will be proper fine so that is how you make it this is just a half curve you will not get a full curve here that is it then the remaining again the tangent as it is so from that point from your focus f you draw a 45 degree line which make it m which will be 45 degree again the same process from this 45 degree you draw this make you a make a mean equal I mean 90 degree line apart and that line you join with this so this becomes your tangent ok this is tangent ok and this perpendicular to this you make a normal this should be 90 degree again this so this will be a normal that's all. So only difference between the previous your ellipse and parabola is your ellipse has got a close curve first point. You should have two directrix in a confined area. That means from you start from a line. That means this directrix and you should end up with another directrix. That was the case in ellipse. And you have an eccentricity value of three by four. That value, which is not equal ok not 50 percent but in parabola it is a standard value that parabola will have an uh, eccentricity value of 1 that means a middle whatever the given from the directrix to focus the middle of the point is becomes your eccentricity value that's how it's called a vertex b you fix it then you do this curve same that's how you go about draw about a parabola